What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the new car. So yes, there we have it. I've got a Kyle Army Green RSQ3. Now, this is absolutely mega. It took me ages to find the correct spec that I wanted, but I'm so glad that I uh, stuck out the search and didn't just buy the first one I saw. So, quick rundown. It's the RSQ3 2020 model, Kyle Army Green with the black pack. So. All the black trims are black instead of the chrome. Now, it is a bit windy. I've got a new mic set up. I'm hoping that, fingers crossed, this time it actually works because I know my last video, it was quite windy and for some reason the windsock didn't really work, but I picked up some new mics, definitely got a windsock on it. So we pray that we finally sorted out the mic issues. But that aside, this is what we are here to see. So it's an absolutely mega car. Those that uh, know, I always wanted the RS3, but this one is basically just the next level up. Now, I really wanted the Kyle Army Green. I first saw it in, uh, I think it was Colette's video, uh, Colette Davies over in America. So she had a TTRS in this color and I just fell in love with it. It was just perfect. It's nice and bright, which is exactly what I like. And to me, paired with the stylings of the car, it just looks a, like a baby mini Urus. So like it, it's got the aggressive lines all over it. It's got the bright color and uh, yeah, let's take a look inside as well. So we've got the, I guess they're super sport seats if I can figure out the color. There we go. As well as you can see it in the back at the moment, like the interior lighting, it's got RGBs all around, which Again, I'm a massive fan. So all in the front and and to the back. You'll have to excuse the dog blanket, but again, the seats, it's just such a nice place to be. So saying about the interior being a nice place to be, I thought we might as well come inside, get out of the wind for a little bit. But yeah, this still doesn't feel real to me. Uh, it just feels like it's been forever waiting for this moment, but I'm so glad it's come. So. I've had the car for about a week now. I've done sort of boring motorway miles for work and stuff, but it's been an absolutely mega car and loving every minute of it. So for those that don't know what this car is, it's basically what it says on the badge. It's a Q3, but with the RS3 parts. So it's got the two and a half liter five pot engine, Quattro, all the good stuff, makes the best sounds and uh, Best of all, you've got the practicality of the Q3 as well. So you've got the bigger boot space, more space in the back for, for passengers and all that, but this is just unreal. So if I walk you through the interior a little bit, so excuse the bags and stuff, but everything's just all refinished nicely. So you've got the Alcantara, we've got all the piano black uh, inserts. So you could spec it with like carbon fiber inserts here, but Again, it's a second-hand car, so it didn't really have all that much choice. But I, I quite like the black. It's not it's not the end of the world just having like little bits of carbon. Plus, I'm sure I could probably change those afterwards. Got a massive screen up here. And you've also got the Bang & Olufsen sound upgrade. So, again, I don't know how well you can see it. There you go. So, you've got the, I think they call it the 3D space surround sound. Something like that, they always come up with wacky words and names for things. But yeah, it's it's got the updated uh, sound system, which again is great for me because of the amount of miles I do for work and like, when we go on holiday. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's 400 horsepower, which is just ridiculous in something like this. And I, I mentioned that for me, it's like a baby Eurus, like just because of the styling and especially paired with the color but everyone just stares at the car. Like it's been a long time since I've had a car. 
that people just look at. Obviously, the last one was the S15 because you just don't really see them around. And so when people see them, especially how I had mine, it, it does draw some attention. But these, it's just nice just having a factory car that people are just like, what is that? So, I mean, at first glance, it could be confused for like a, a sporty SUV like the Urus. Obviously, to someone that knows what they're looking for, they're going to know instantly it's not a supercar or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that. Um, but it's the, I think it's the closest I'm ever going to get because I, I ain't ever going to make that kind of money. But this is very, very good regardless. So I think we should get this started up and head on out for a, for a little drive. sold me on the test drive of the car was when the car's in comfort mode it's nice and quiet inside it just feels like a normal car which was one of the important things for me as well as like, I do a lot of mileage for work take the car on holiday and all that kind of stuff so it's nice to like not be all droney and loud and, and all that obviously don't get me wrong I love it but in comfort mode uh, like I said it just feels like such a normal car but you just press the RS mode button on here. I've got my first one set up, so it's all standard settings, but more engine noise, as you can hear. And obviously, press it again, and it goes into full RS mode, so everything is in maximum attack mode. So you put your foot down, and it just goes. It's an incredible car, and yeah, just that first test drive, it instantly sold me on it. I, I was like, we're gonna just go and have a look at the car, just see what it's like, test drive, and make sure I actually like it, as the other car I was contemplating was the Tiguan R. So exactly the same as the Golf, same engine, same power, all, all that kind of stuff, but a little bit more practical, and got more boot space, as, like I said, for work, I, I need to have room to put the vinyl in, my toolbox, all of those boring things. So that, that's why I needed a bigger car, but I'd been thinking about the RSQ3 for so long, and I'm glad I waited, I'm glad I test drove it. It was uh, actually when we were on skiing with the family, uh, we were on holiday, I was, my mindset was like, oh, I'll just get a Tiguan R. Uh, I, I know the platform, like, it, it's a nice car, it's got, it's got power, it's got space, it's comfortable, like, you can make it sound nice if you've got the uh, Krapovich exhaust upgrade. And when we were skiing, one of these drove past and I heard it and I was just like, no, I need to stick to my guns. I need to go with the RSQ3. So carried on searching, one popped up and it was actually like at my local dealer, which was like perfect. Some would say it was a sign. So phone them up, say, look, I'd like to test drive the car because it's all well and good liking how it looks and sounds and all that. But if I don't like driving it, it's pointless spending all that money to, to be left with a car that I'm just like, okay. So test drove and yeah, my mind just instantly, it was perfect. It's everything that I was expecting it to be and more it's just for me it's ridiculous that I've got a car like this and those of you that have been following the channel for a long time will know that the RS3 is my absolute dream car um, well my absolute dream car is an R34 Midnight Purple 2 V-Spec but attainable dream car was the RS3 uh, ever since I had the S3 and if you saw my video last year i bought an rs3 turned out to be an absolute lemon it was the old shape the av and uh yeah so that dream kind of just got shattered and i didn't think of it much since uh the new rs3s i'm not 100 percent sold on i prefer how like the old ones sound and look but there's just something about the rsq3 it just ticked everything it's got the exact same letters just an extra letter 
which means it's more like practical for what I need it to be as well. And yeah, it's, it is just the perfect car and something this sort of size that moves as quick as it does, the sounds it makes, it's great. I know there's more powerful cars out there, like don't get me wrong, but for what I need and what I want and like my price range, this is literally like the top. I couldn't think of anything better. But yeah, this this car is just a dream come true. And I'm glad I waited and did an impulse by the Tiguan R. So shout out to Charlotte for that. But yeah, let's uh, let's go drive a little bit more and uh, close this out. So believe it or not, we've still not actually done a proper tunnel run in this car. So luckily we've got one coming up. I just hope that the GoPro does uh, justice with the microphone. So let's crack the window down a bit, put it in full attack mode and give it some sense. Oh, it sounds so good. It sounds so, so good. Let's go one, two. It just sounds unreal. What a cool car. I don't know if you can see, but there's the RGB interior lighting. It just, everything about this car just makes me excited. Every time I just get in the car and drive, I've always got a smile on my face, even if it's just a little to and from the shops or anything. Like, it is just such a cool car. It is such a fun car. Unreal car. In case you haven't guessed, I absolutely love this car. So, 10 out of 10, best purchase I've ever done. So, hey, let's head back home and... Uh... So, there we have it, guys. The newest car to the collection. Again, I keep calling it a collection. It's not really a collection, but we move on. So, now you can see why the Golf had to go, why the Clio is still for sale because so many time wasters, it's unreal. But, yeah, I hope you guys happy with the latest purchase i know i am and i can't wait to film more stuff of this now i don't know what i've got in store for it yet it's all still very much fresh all i do know is i need to carry on ppfing the front end as so far i've only managed to do the bonnet i need to do the rest of the front end and the side skirts just so that way it's a little bit more protected granted it is a second hand car it was on like eighteen thousand miles it's got a few stone chips on the bonnet but it's it's to be expected like i said it's second hand car so unless it's done from factory then like you're not going to get the most out of it but it's just going to stop it from getting any worse which is what what i'm aiming for so yeah that's it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to like and comment and subscribe because there is plenty more to come with this there's plenty more to come with the mx5 Fingers crossed I should be able to get something out next week with the MX-5. If not, there's going to be a couple of weeks break where I'm away for work. I've got trips to America and a few other places. So that's going to throw a spanner in the works of content wise. But as soon as I'm back, we're going to hit the ground running. Got so much planned this year. And uh, yeah, can't wait to run you guys through everything that we're aiming to do. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Now catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.